Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Mesale and tonight I am being joined by Olamide Onifade, Hello. the one and only lady one. lawyer and my yes. delectable flowery Sandra Eze that yes. refused to share cake with me. <laughs> Do you have been where did that come from? Wait, where did she get the cake from? <laughs> okay, so it's a long story. My boss, who is a darling, not in that sense, please. Um, he's a very <laughs> respectful uh, gentleman. So his birthday was a couple of days ago, but I told him, Mr. K, listen. Oh, Mr. I K. I need to eat this cake. <laughs> so Mr. K got me cake because apparently everybody was there. They ate the cake or except me. Well, he got me my cake. Yes, two I boxes offered, hold on. Cake. Wait, hold on. Let me finish the story. You brought it up. So I offered to give her half, a whole half of the cake. cake. She said, no, she wants the full cake. I said, no, ma. You cannot do it. Sorry. <laughs> so how come you're getting two boxes of cake? You get because I'm special, slices. you guys. Because I remember the day. Yeah, we just got slices of the cake. Let me just leave the, oh, leave the Don't, Don't worry. I have told you. No wonder. You know what? I will return. I will return. I know okay. where everything is going to. Ah, thank you, <laughs> let me. <laughs> I bought it in the gym, you guys. Which gym? <laughs> Yo, I can see where it's going to. <laughs> we can see. I the can gym see. is even locked. <laughs> Let me have you been. <laughs> very well, very well. How so what's you? been happening? Ah, oh, uh, juggling work, homeschooling with my daughter, household chairs. Oh, wow. Ah, no, it's That's not easy. Lot. This COVID is not easy on mm -hmm. women, this mm -hmm. period. Because naturally, I don't use housemates anyway, but what I do, what works for me is I drop yeah. my daughter off in school mm -hmm. and I pick up at 6.30. So between the hours of 8 o'clock and the you morning, know, so I would have things. done all what I need to do. But now I can't just, I can't even function. Hmm. I don't know when all this will end, honestly. I don't. Well, God will help. And she's at this age, you know, she just turned three. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand, please. Because my <laughs> first two kids, so I really cannot understand when they turn three. But this girl just turned three. And she just changed completely. She decides to bring out all her toys at once. And you need to come to the living room. Oh you know what? I Before, I'm this very neat person and all that. I really, I always, you know, prim and proper. But in the past few weeks oh, you know, you know. anything goes so you know what i just do i just concentrate on my phone she'll be blasting <laughs> her cartoon on the phone and at the same time cooking on her kitchen doing this hard multitasking so what i do is i just face my phone or read <laughs> and lie down on the couch when the father comes back like you know the face and like <laughs> well deal with it but guess what there was a day he offered to have the child my daughter and i went out and I came back, you needed to, you know, I also gave him the face and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> you without say well done. <laughs> All right, so today we have an interesting show for you. Um, this, here's what we found as today's quote. To deny people their human right is to deny their hu very humanity. That's from Nelson Mandela. Because um, today we're talking about the challenges. The, the Nigerian um, legal system has faced a lot of backlash from Nigerians, and today we want to understand some of the challenges within our judiciary. And we have Pumi Layo, Ashaolu, and Shego Dubella, SAN. They are here to discuss this. But first, I think we'll would, um, we'll go on a break. Let's just go and see what we found in the news. But before then, what do you think about humanity and justice? I mean, if you deny the quote by Nelson Mandela. I mean, I absolutely think everybody would agree that, um, I mean, we have our basic human rights, which it's sad that a lot of Nigerians are ignorant about it. Mm. But if you deny me that right... Are you sure right, they are ignorant? Or the system has completely dehumanized mm. Well, people? that's like two ways of looking at it. I think... Um, I think a lot of us are ignorant. A lot of you? us are, like, we know We don't right know the law. We don't oh, know right. our rights. But it's, uh, the, 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 the environment is not even enabling mm -hmm. for you to even know the law. It's, is it even taught in school? Like, I know we do government and all that, but, I mean, I went like to school. Your fundamental human yes. rights being taught. So, so, it's that's, just so, that, so, so this conversation is going to be multidimensional. So that's going mm -hmm. to go back to education. Mm -hmm. um, basic education for every child. Mm -hmm. So if every Nigerian citizen goes through now it's six nine nine. What do they do now? Six three three yeah. up to the age of sixteen. We can be sure that everybody will know their rights. Hmm. So all this is multidimensional, and a lot of factors I, I, I that impede judiciary. They, they teach them 
their fundamental like, human no, rights. No, no, that's not the point. Teaching them in school is not the point. The fact is that when you are properly educated, mm. you are exposed. You are enlightened. So naturally, you would know your rights. Mm -hmm. Most of these rights are God-given. Mm. They're just codified into a single document. Okay. Right. All right. That's so true. you are taught we'll to be more assertive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll go on a break. When we return, we'll see what we found in the news. Please stay with us.